Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. So I've got my coffee ready. I am back, but I was off for three days, which felt like forever because I'm not used to completely not working for three days. <laughs> but um, I'm learning how to do so throughout this past year. So I think if some of you will notice in your, let's say, creativity or in your career, your projects, that something is not moving forward. Take a look at what the universe is trying to tell you. Universe, every time you are in balance, is going to take something away from you to make you stop. It's going to kind of stop the progress of what it is that you're doing in order for you to go out there, get grounded, go socialize, do whatever it is that you need to do. By the way, the um, restrictions are lifted where I'm at, so it's going to be different in your place. And uh, do all of the 3D stuff to truly come back on track and enjoy your life. And that's what I've been doing for the past week, more or less. Uh, now, those who are about to book a reading with me, I am going to be going on holiday from 22nd to 26th. So it's going to be four days, family trip. I didn't have a family trip for years and years. I don't remember when it was last time because I was living in another country. But it's only four days and the rest of you who came to ask for a reading, as you know, I've booked you after 26th. So everything is back to life. It's just those four days that I'm again, not be available. I'll be getting back to your emails though. So what else here, guys? There is so much stuff coming, but do feel like this whole June for me is gonna be a bit of, you know, here and there. Cause I have a friend who is visiting too and she's spending i think last days here in my country before she goes back to where she lives so i'm trying to kind of split my time between everything and kind of trying to keep it balanced and enjoy myself while i'm doing everything i hope energies are treating you well it's pretty mad in june that is why i'm taking a bit more time off in june that i've planned before uh, due to the whole moon relationship if you know what I mean so today we will be looking at your guidance but that guidance will be specifically about what would make you happy in this lifetime what is it that you're supposed to be doing in order for you to not feel like you're working a day in your life now it might be difficult for some of you to straight away jump into into this and i understand usually when it comes to life purpose people start you know doing something that they love on a side before it becomes business or before it becomes source of in income so keep that in mind now what else there is more stuff coming guys and uh, there is more stuff coming regarding the intuitive deck i didn't have time to do your intuitive readings for one another just yet but i'm working on it i think i might have time for it tomorrow once i do my privates and yeah so let's go as usual you are picking from the intuitive deck i'm going to show you cards from close up and then i'm going to show all of those cards at once so for pile number one we have this intuitive card over here for pile number two we have this intuitive card over here For pile number three, we have this intuitive card. For pile number four, we have this intuitive card. So I'm gonna show you all of the piles, sorry, cards from above. By the way, I'm gonna, I think, bring back the intuitive classes. I have a package where you get your own intuitive deck and you can learn reading from the intuitive deck on its own. Because I had two people booked and I don't like to have too many. I like to focus on two at a time the most. So these are your piles. Pick yours and I'll see you in timestamps.
Hello tribe, whoever has chosen pile number one, I've actually have started recording your video guys and I got distracted and I forgotten to draw a card from this deck so I decided to do it all over again and to keep your cards on a table. So let's start with what is going on. Now when it comes to current energies, I don't have the cards on a table but what I was picking up for you um, that some of you might not be entirely happy where you are right now financially. You might be a little bit unsure which path to take because we had two of swords and it's all about trusting your gut feeling where you're going next. You might be a little bit self-cautious and you might be questioning what is it truly for me that I want to do or how I have to approach my career or the path I am on. Now what I did also see for a lot of you that you do have some kind of a backup plan when it comes to your finances. If you are ever in a situation where you don't have enough, I did see family support or friends or partner support. So if you are some of you, I don't see for many of you here, but if you are kind of freaking out or if you are a little bit fearful when it comes to your own stability, I'd say there is nothing to worry about. You have um, either savings that are gonna last or you do have people who are around you and are able to help you out if that happens. Okay, so let's continue further on to your reading. Now, it's very interesting how for you guys, Two cards from two different decks came up that look so, so similar, which is the Hierophant and the Study card. Take a look at these two people here. Even their eyebrows look very similar to me. Their face shape is very similar. You know what I mean? It's like when I saw those two cards on camera when I was recording before, I was like, whoa like this is very interesting you guys got a card that's ta that's talking about you are on the right path a lot of you here are just checking you're already doing something that you are supposed to be doing a lot of you have went through already a spiritual awakening and you've re realized what's making you happy and what isn't something that you're gonna take on specifically when it comes to projects or when it comes to your career a lot of you might be drawn to studying, learning something new. Um, I think a lot of you are doing that already right now as I speak. You might be doing that in the future. If you do want to deepen your knowledge, I would very much suggest pile number one doing so because your life purpose is about teaching others. So what you're doing pile number one, you are very, very wise people. We have the Queen of Swords here, the Hero Fun and the Study card. It's all about observing everyone else, um, taking, kind of being the example for other people, guiding them, being a teacher, a mentor, spiritual teacher, teacher at school, coach, whoever you want to be, doesn't matter how that mentoring and teaching will portray to what it is that you want to do in life it's going to somehow put other people on the right track or advise them and give them this hope or guidance that some other people maybe cannot i am very very stoked for pile number one you are ready doing things that you're supposed to be doing some of you what i can see from these cards might have already mm, changed jobs or are about to change jobs if you haven't changed your job or some kind of um there was some kind of an ending for a lot of you when it comes to your career or maybe finances things have ch shifted at one point drastically and if you haven't gone through this you will but that's gonna be for the better now you're not supposed to be in places or in jobs pile number one where you underappreciated underpaid you are supposed to be leaders yourself so whatever it is that you want to do in life i do think that you're going to be very successful in the long run come on we have six of wands this is a winner card there are a lot of people looking up to you and they're like hey how did this person come so far how comes they have 
so much knowledge, so much experience in certain fields, certain niche, and a lot of people want a piece of you when it comes to the future. So you might have to learn how to split your time, how to split your attention, how to keep that love and care for yourself and also give X amount of that for other people. It's gonna be all about balance. So let's take a look at how your finances will be in the future. How will your stability be in the future when it comes to this life path? When it comes to this journey, please. We have 10 of wands, we have two tens here. You are letting the struggles go. There are still some, some burdens on your shoulders that you carry with you, but I feel like it's part of your responsibility now and that's something that you still have to carry with you uh, before you completely emerge into this path of yours. We have Queen of Wands. I mean, <laughs> and we have Three of Cups, look. You are celebrating your successes in the future. Taken from what cards I have here, when we talk about financial security, bottom of the deck, we have two of cups. You are on the track you're supposed to be on. You are emerging and you are, you have that duality of feminine, feminine and masculine in you. Um, it's all about duality for pile one. It's all about spirit. It's all about spirituality. It's all about being that person that is drawing everyone else in who's supposed to be crossing their path and when it comes to your finances when i get this queen of wands specifically from the steampunk deck look at how professional she is she doesn't seem like she lacks money she seems like she's very proud of how much she has she's like watch me look at my new suit sharp isn't it very very sharp she's very proud of how far she came and another thing what i'm seeing here when I've asked about your finances, we have celebrations. So um, it seems like you'll be very glad where you'll be financially. It might take you a bit of patience, like everything does in life, but if you will keep on going, pile number one, um, and face the bumps on the road on this life journey of yours as a teacher, mentor, leader of some sorts, you're going to be someone who I think is gonna be very visible and very respected for quite a lot of people. And I think you're gonna be very busy in the future, which is gonna bring you quite a lot of financial abundance too. So I'm gonna draw one card for you here as a message, pile number one. A message for pile number one, please. Let's see. It says, gentle moderation. Take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by re renegotiating what you are trying to accomplish. So it seems like there might be, a, I'm getting this energy of, see, I do think that there is a person in a picture there might be a parent or partner or someone who might be giving you advice or telling you what it is that you're supposed to do on how to live your life that you will probably find or confusing or you're gonna have to adjust your schedule but whatever it is that you are doing it seems like you are in need of patience Some of you put so much pressure on yourself, there is no people telling you things. You might be putting so much pressure on yourself and, and carrying so much with you that what I heard works smarter, not harder. So I think all of you guys, pal number one, are very, very smart people. But there might be a little thing that you might want to twist something about how you work, something about how you communicate with other people that is not discover just yet to make your life easier and more smooth sailing okay so that's what i have for pile number one i truly hope that this made sense if you'd like to donate to this channel the link is down below i truly appreciate all of you and i'm gonna catch you next time
Hello pal number two people, if you'll hear any background noises, I'm sorry, I can't avoid it. My grandpa is over two hours, by the way, we don't have any restrictions anymore, so don't freak out. <laughs> and we're just having a quick get together in the living room. So, let's check with how you're feeling emotionally or how you're feeling overall about where you're at right now. So you can kind of determine if this reading is for you or not. You can listen to it regardless. Maybe there's gonna be a message for you that you need to hear. But let's see, pile number two. Pile number two. I must say that from the card that you've chosen, some of you have kids or you're working on a little project of yours, like a baby, you know what I mean? Baby doesn't always have to be a baby child. Let's see where you're at, pile number. Yes, yeah, see, see a child there. Maybe some of you have a pet that you call your baby. Now, when it comes to your, mm -hmm, give me a moment here. Okay, what's happening here for pile number twos? It seems like everything is good when it comes to your finances i don't see any major issues here i do think that some of you are pretty good when it comes to your banks um or your family is quite good and they could help you out or your partner either but it seems like emotionally not very happy where you're at just yet because things might be put on hold for you everything is like mm, and it was cut off for for x amount of time when you're now like i don't know what it is that i want to do mm, there might be a couple of the responsibilities on your shoulders and you're like i'm juggling a couple of things at the same time so universe might have put you on hold for a reason here and i truly do think so this is a time for contemplation guys for you truly understand what it is that you want to do that brings you not only money but most importantly emotional fulfillment because then you will not feel like you're working a day in your life so let's take a look at your life path what where possibly you'd be happiest and what might be your path and we're going to be using Doran virtues cards let me have a sip of coffee it's so hot guys where i'm at i have zero energy it's so so hot we have doors and windows open everywhere just to create some wind movement okay pile number two let's see now i'm gonna be drawing couple of yeah time to decide you see decision decisions i'm gonna be drawing i feel like three cards for you guys here because i'm being told so make a decision based on your heart's true desires what did i say it's all about what your hearts want you to do um it's not as much about money for pile two even though you you might be feeling like oh brigitte it's all about money in this world i know i get it been there risked it and uh, now I'm the happiest I've ever been doing what I love doing. So truly get it. This is something that when it comes to life path, you might find that at one point of your life, you will have to risk something to come. You'll have to come out of your comfort zone in order to dive deep into what it is that you want to do. You don't have to quit everything in order to pursue something new you can start doing things on a side and that becomes a hobby and a hobby becomes your full-time job so let's take a look at what is it guys for you that would be most suitable for your heart's desires pal two travel nice nice love 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 this card truly love this card okay one more there's another group of people here who are in i think yeah, energy healing that's the ones i was looking for okay i'm gonna pull a couple of cards from the steampunk because i don't really like reading the oracle cards on its own i feel like it's very straightforward yes it can be very helpful but I think tarot adds a lot of depth to the whole scenario right let's see what we have here yeah definitely energy healings high priestesses here Look how nicely that 
that's coming together see we have the travel card and my page of cups is talking about travel sometimes to me too because of the plane and this guy is waiting for the plane if you can see behind him over there so I love when this happens it's just like yeah that's exactly what I meant f off you know what I mean you have to trust oracle cards I'm joking but yeah this is like a double this is being exaggerated now so for a lot of you who have chosen this pile your heart's desires would be fulfilled when your life purpose would involve any kind of traveling now it can not necessarily mean that you will travel the world and live in different places and and um work on laptop which for a lot of you will but it can also be working in a travel field where you will feel fulfilled seeing people every time coming and um, you can travel and explore places too because you'll have to experience probably hotels and see places yourself and it becomes a very nice diverse job for some others of you you might want to be pilots you might want to be cabin crew um, you might even want to be I don't know this is for someone very specific here traveling and um, reviewing places does it make sense so would it be traveling and visiting different places to check how their food is or to, to check what kind of services they provide and kind of review people and review businesses that would be a great thing to do for pile number two now the second scenario here is a lot of you here are working with energies and you are into spiritual fields already you just check and i feel like some of you have started that already some of you are just have your eye on that but i do think those who are into that don't delay just go for it because you have the high priestess here which is also apart from saying time to decide listen to your heart's desires and it's clarified by the high priestess meaning listen to your gut god damn it <laughs> this is how that priestess coming through right <laughs> saying listen to your gut and i know it might be difficult for some people to to know where when your gut feeling is talking to you and when your intellect and ego is talking to you, I get it. Now, when it comes to intellect, intellect would start counting money or would start um, trying to find logical ways of how your life would be if you have chosen this and this path. When it comes to gut feeling, it just tells you something is right for you, but it doesn't have any backup, any factual proof that is going to actually work for you okay you just don't know why you're being told to go that way and you just have to follow it so let's check on the energy healing you have very i think a lot of you guys here you have very strong energy in your palms you might feel that when you touch someone you might e even have healing qualities to you or you might be able to remotely heal people you might even feel that you are someone people love being around because of your healing presence and that will be a part of your life's purpose okay um, I have to throw it out there there is I think one person watching this who wanted to be a tattoo artist i have to tell you if you are watching this and if this message have reached you you'd be great at doing so but it seems like you might have had some kind of fear or maybe you were not completely assertive of yourself when it came to pursuing it and stepping towards that path all right energy healing and is clarified by king of cups it's all about emotional field so you guys are very good empaths here empaths who don't i think you already know how to differentiate what's yours and what's not a lot of you are very high a very developed energy healers here and you're already working on that so I'd say if you haven't started and if that's something that's fulfilling your heart go on ahead and try it out do not be afraid try on your friends on your family members on whoever is willing to be healed so once you'll be getting feedback you'll see 
how powerful you truly are. So it's all about feedback. Those who are willing to travel for work, who always wanted to travel, I'd say start finding ways what's your niche because you've clicked on this pile for a reason. The only thing that you have to do now is to take the step forward. However small or big that step would be, this is your niche. So let's take a look at your finances. How will your fin finances be pile number two? How will your finances be pile number two? Let's see. The sun, really. As if we didn't know. See, another plane is coming through here. Travel, travel, travel vibes here. Pile number two. Okay, look. What this is saying, this is a very strong message here, pile number twos. And it's very much color correlating to time to decide. Because I'm not feeling that this is talking about finances. Someone truly needs to make that step. Someone has been looking and contemplating what it is that they want to do next and they never have taken the first step. If you won't take the first step, what universe is saying, you know what, we're not going to give you what you truly want because we are waiting. We have everything ready for you. What we are waiting is for you to step into this game, to start playing, to start going and learning and going and exploring this life purpose of yours. Go and do something. Some of you are being blocked because you are afraid to get disappointed if that doesn't work out. But how many times things didn't work out when you didn't take any risk or didn't take any step and you didn't take it as a big deal? It's just because it was a disappointment, right? But when it comes to making your own decision, making up your mind, it might be difficult sometimes because you're as if you are putting pressure uh, on yourself because other people are kind of watching you or they have opinions doesn't matter what the case is why you're being fearful here pile number twos now I'm talking to specific type of people here so some of you are already like okay this is not my message just listen through this you gotta be assertive if you believe in yourself everyone else will believe in you too if you are, doesn't matter how great you are in your career or in your field, and if you give out this energy of being a little bit self-cautious, that's what people are gonna see, that's what people are gonna feel. So some of you need to work a bit on your self-confidence when it comes to that. Now, when I've asked about finances, we have the sun and we have six of swords. Finances will be the happy place for you once you are on your life path. I'm seeing here. Seems like it will be much better than it, it ever was before. But it's not like you will be overly focused on your finances. I'm not getting it. I think you will be focused on freedom and on happy lifestyle that this will give you. Now, let's pull a message for you, pile number twos. What is it that you have to say for pile number two? Okay then. Adrift in shallow water. Love this. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. And this is, you see, you got a turtle. You're going to have to be patient with yourself here, guys. Okay? You have to take one day at a time to make this happen. Take a few breaths if you have to in order to dive into this life path of yours. If something is not going the way you are planning to, it's fine. It's peace. It's just part of life, this is saying, okay? You need to find peace, guys, first of all, in order to decide, in order to find your inner guidance because if you're not peaceful within yourself, you cannot hear your gut feeling telling you things. You cannot listen to your intuition as clearly. You might be a bit lost. So calm your mind, this is saying. Do some soul searching if you can, if you haven't found your life path. That's when you will hear your inner voice the most. Now, for a lot of others of you, I'm feeling that that's how you'll be feeling in the future. You'll be just drifting. You'll, you'll be enjoying the journey. You'll be super, super happy. These are my free spirit people, pile number two. You love to spread joy. 
you love to love life and you might feel that you get disappointed by 3D sometimes, how everything works, corruption, etc, etc, because you're not supposed to be in this robotic army lifestyle for a lot of you. You just want to let it go and you will. You will let it go once you make up your mind if you haven't just yet. For all others of you, I can only congratulate you because it seems like there is a brand new door opening your way. There's a lot to come. This spell screams happiness, free lifestyle, something that you've always wanted but maybe you haven't experienced it just yet. So the happiness and the greatness that will come with it is not going to is going to be the most important thing and is not going to you're not going to I can't speak you're not gonna be focused on money guys what you'll be focused on how great it is to have this job or to do what you're doing for work and to kind of just breathe in life okay so if you'd like to donate to the channel or if you'd like to subscribe join my tribe I truly appreciate every single one of you and I'm gonna catch you next time bye for now Hello, part three people. So whoever have chosen the third intuitive card, we're going to be looking at your current energies before we go on with this reading. So you can determine if this reading is for you or not, or you can just listen to it and see where it takes us. Now, I'm going to be looking at how you're feeling about the situation you're in at right now. Ooh, some of you just want to throw everything, leave and go, I'm hearing. I just want to go. What is it that you want to leave behind? you like, I see you almost like dropping something and going towards something new. Because you've been emotionally drained or tired and where you want to go is towards the magician energy, which is very fast paced. And a magician is great at getting things done and accomplishing what it is that he wants to accomplish. Now, for you, what I'm seeing, let me tune into you a bit more. It seems like you just have left something. You might have lost a job. You might have lost something that has given you stability or clarity. Now, this happened for a reason, so do not feel bad about it because it was predestined. You had to get that clear out of your life and it might not have felt the best. Now, for some others of you, what I'm seeing, you are a little bit tired of working with other people around you. You might be disappointed by a group of people or a couple of them, whoever these people are. They might even be um, people who not only surround you in your workplace, but I would say people who are around you in general. It seems like you just want to detach pile number threes and to start over. I keep hearing start over to see life from a different point of view. There is something that you want to, you have an eye on something when it comes to your projects, career, life purpose. So let's take a look at what it is for you. What's the best niche for pile number three where would you be and i'm looking at where would you be most emotionally fulfilled okay so that you don't work a day in your life again god i can't i can't pick those up pile number three people what would be their best niche pile number three people what's their best niche I feel like that one caught my hand. Family, nice. Wow. I love this body work. Okay. Hmm. I feel like there's a third group of people here, guys. Even if I've given you four, four different intuitive cards to choose from, there are so many watching. So I want to kind of split you in parts and talk to you individually. Ooh, some of you are being told things in your dreams already. So pay attention to what your dreams are telling you. 
now a lot of you will be like um i don't know how to i don't know what it means now how to do so if you for example are working in a job an example you're working in a job and you feel like hmm you know what it pays kind of good or it pays all right and it's it's given me comfort and stability but it feels like i am missing something in my life my soul is not fulfilled now for your dream you might have a a dream that is gonna be making you feel bad about that job somehow so you might feel that you have a dream where a situation in the workplace wasn't the best it wasn't fair for you or you leave in the job or you have to leave the job because of something whatever the situation you will somehow feel off about the job situation or you'll be completely confused when it comes to your stability in your dream so that's gonna be your message now what I'm seeing I have to congratulate you guys some of you are here in this life to be the best mom or dad that you'll ever find and uh, I don't think it's being talked about that much when it comes to life purpose um, some of you have incarnated here to be the best mom or dad for that spirit who's gonna incarnate in your family that spirit have chosen your family for a reason and you are gonna be bounded by that child for a reason so you don't know what was the history of that soul that you are raising or about to raise in the future prior to this it seems like you are here to give a beautiful life a warm-hearted life a very cozy home for this child <laughs> I like this vibe quite a lot for you um, now I feel like some some of you are watching this video and you are water signs because this family card is giving me this cancerian energy here and I truly enjoy that it's giving me this coziness and it's giving me a sense of being taken care of looked after and very protected protection is another thing for pile number threes now when it comes to body work i'm gonna clarify these cards i'm sorry i completely forgot because uh, that family card got me mesmerized honestly let me clarify it because i don't usually like reading the oracles on its own yeah you're gonna be winners when it comes to family if you have any doubts will i create a good family dynamics will i get a good partner will i will i this will i that will i go, be a good mother or father you will be because you are here on this earth to be that person yes it requires growth self-development etc etc but it seems like you're already winning in that case pile number one sorry threes maybe wanted to check out pile number one too body work trust bottom of a deck i feel like that one wants to come out we'll take it the hangman i felt it's reverse this time though i feel like everything everything that was stagnant is got is starting to move for you guys pile number threes bottom of a deck <laughs> see that so you are here to not only become the best family members you are here to find your soul tribe here pile number threes it's very strong here now for others of you you might be into tattoos you might want to do something that has a connection with body itself now it can be um, making someone's body feel lighter so i would be speaking to those who are into massages into therapies healings of some sorts uh, physical therapy uh, training sports um, I would say surgery doctors these are all the people who are making one's body feel good it's something I do think that there is a very strong masculine watching this reading here and um, I 
and something about that masculine and, and the heart and I felt my heart when I looked at the heart on this guy's back so I'm speaking to one person here literally because it's almost as I felt their heart this was interesting um, maybe someone got creeped out here <laughs> I'm sorry if you did but it's all about see it's all about the body even in the family card I'm paying attention to how this dad is about to catch a child and it's holding someone's body it's all about body I would say wherever you want to go in life your niche has a very strong connection to body itself or making someone feel like they are protected loved or finding a partner who's gonna allow you to somehow make this mission of yours even stronger to kind of develop and I think both of you will somehow be included in this mission you are getting sensations pile number threes about your career if you don't have trust right now when it comes to that I would say listen to what your passion is telling you if there is no passion where you at it's most likely not your niche even if you are working now some of you might might say hey but I'm on my mission already and I lose passion everyone loses passion from time to time but it's much more enjoyable to do a job that brings you any kind of emotional fulfillment than to go to a job like a robot and just get things done not care about anything right get your paycheck and and kind of just deal with it mm, for you guys it's i think there is a reminder for one of you it's okay to lose motivation or to lose passion sometimes uh, rejuvenate take care of your body then okay so don't forget to have the balance between you and yours or between you and other people you are guiding or other people you are taking care of okay that's quite important Let, let's take a look at your finances when it comes to your life mission how will pile number three's finances be Pile number three, people. Right. The High Priestess. Ace of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Pentacles. You got it. Okay. So, I do think that is giving me a bit of a story here. It's saying that there is something that you might need to do or to approach in a certain way before you see the fruit of your labor you might want to do some it's something about the emotional state of yours that you might want to take a look at are you open emotionally uh, do you have blockages emotionally do you open to others easily there's something about that because I'm feeling my shoulder on the left side tense right now as if I was working so much and I did I, and I kept everything in you know I struggled and I, w I was just closed off and it kind of portrayed to my body somehow so pay attention to what part of your body hurts and why or where you have issues because these are a thing for a lot of you hidden or suppressed emotions that you keep in you and you don't let it out so part of your it's interesting because relationships sometimes or emotional self has a very big impact on careers too now that has to be dealt with and I do see very stable and very persistent um, work that you're gonna be putting in this job whatever it will be it's reminding you not to overwork yourself especially your own body okay don't over push yourself if you're working out 
give yourself rest, be balanced out. Money will be good. We have the Queen of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. You'll be working on this slowly, steadily, persistently. Things will be good. If you want to buy a new house or if you want to improve home, if you're saving for home or a car, that's something that you will be able to do from the income you'll be getting from this job okay so let's pull one card for you guys as a message pile number three wow diving to new depths okay let's see there is a deeper meaning to what is happening you might be looking at this from the surface and missing what is really going on Take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what it is you are feeling about your current situation. See, what this reminds me of is that emotional state that I talked about before because it's all about diving to new depths and I feel like this is talking about your emotional state. It's like, there. it says, there is a deeper meaning to what is happening. Even if you are facing any kind of difficulties right now, or if you have gone through something that was quite difficult for you, whatever it was in your life, it's saying there is a deeper meaning to what is happening, what you are experiencing right now. And this deep water is those deep emotions that I talked about for me. This thing, explore that explore what is going on around you right now because that's gonna be partly you're gonna find a key and you're gonna have a fine you're gonna have a can't speak guys forgive me you're gonna find a key to your success to your mission to your path to how you should go about this this whole pile number three has a massive connection with love loving others loving yourself expressing your love to other people and i do think that for some of you you will find a person who will be on a similar if not the same mission like you are or same core values like you are and this mission will just become much more powerful so i truly hope that this made sense pile number three when i looked at the time from pile number restart it was 15 15 so number one one five or six might be important for you guys if you would like to join and donate to this channel the link is down below i truly appreciate every single one of you and you keep this channel running basically okay so i'm gonna catch you next time bye for now Hello pile number four people. So we're gonna check with your current energies first before we continue. So you can determine if this reading is yours. Or you can just listen to it regardless. Maybe you're gonna find messages here for yourself. So let's see, how are you feeling about where you're at right now? How are you feeling? You're waiting for your fruit of labor. But you know it's coming pile number four you know it's coming you're very hard workers pile number four i do think that a lot of work that you've put in you've already seen the fruit of labor or you are about to now you are big ass manifestors pile number fours and i feel like uh taken from the bottom card i feel like you had to sacrifice something for your stability uh or you are not afraid to sacrifice things that are not working out for you anymore it's like you are seeking for this emotional fulfillment when it comes to your career and you're going to do whatever it takes to get there which i can applaud you for you are very persistent you're very focused you're very driven you have this very good masculine energy when it comes to getting shit done which i love here now you might take too much on your shoulders sometimes would it be Would it be physically, would it be in your head? You ask a lot from yourself and you're not giving up, which I really like seeing here, but remember to take breaks when you need to so that you can balance things out. 
okay so let's take a look at your cards here now what I'm gonna be asking today I'll be asking what would be the best emotional emotionally fulfilling job for you so that you don't work a day in life anymore so we're gonna we're gonna be choosing choosing oh my god as if we choosing cards we're gonna be pulling from <laughs> Dorn virtue deck i'm sorry guys it's so hot where i'm at my energy is just like oh you know i feel a little bit like sluggish i think sluggish is the word so let's see pile number four what would be the emotionally fulfilling job for you and i'm gonna be pulling a couple of cards a lot of people are watching this and i'll be clarifying nice i'll be clarifying the oracle deck with the steampunk strength well i bet there is strength pile four is all about strength Mm -hmm. yeah look at this protection strength there is that masculine energy coming through uh you are warriors pile number four i wouldn't be surprised if you were a warrior of some sort in your past life because i'm getting strong military vibes here i'm getting very very strong protective vibes from pile number four and um i do think that you would be amazing working in a field that's protecting others somehow you are people who are here in this lifetime to somehow make others feel protected safe to give strength to people by whatever it is that you are doing you are here to encourage people you are here to tell them can you hear the thunder outside you are here to tell them that anything that you want to do in this lifetime you can achieve let's clarify creative expression we're gonna to get to that in a minute I had to turn on light for pile number four because it got very dark very fast because thunder is coming which I think very much correlates very much reflects what kind of strong energy you hold yeah I bet that Queen of Wands popped out you are very professional you are very I feel like pile number four this is the only pile that I feel that for you could do anything in life and make it happen you could take on any challenge any job any creative project and make it happen let's talk about creativity some of you are here to be best artists to create to um, portray something to the world by your own creations would it be writing would it be painting would it be artistry on any level doesn't matter what it is that you're doing you have to express who you truly are into your work um, a lot of you guys um, here I have to talk about this you have very strong shaman vibe about you I wouldn't be surprised if your roots uh, your ancestors were very strong energetically and you can predict the future that's one of these that's one of these scenarios that I'm seeing here some of you are about to change your career so you did so remember that you are being protected while doing so there's no need to worry everything is gonna be balanced out the way it has to be for your own good I do think that the transition would be much smoother than you've imagined it to be if you need to leave your current job and go somewhere else you are being looked after as if the spirit is waiting for you to do so if you are not being if the plans don't work right now the way that you want them to now for a lot of others of you your life path is connected to using your own experiences to help others out what you've been through use that and give that feeling of assertiveness to someone else give your strength or show the way for other people when it comes to creative expression i do think that you guys are very talented and you could get things done very quickly for example if it would take five hours for someone to 
make a piece of art, you could do it in two or one and a half. That's how quickly you can express yourself and it becomes a beautiful piece of art. So if you think that being an artist of any sort or creator of any sort is going to take you forever, it's going to be much quicker than you have ever thought because we have eight of wands following the creative expression. And your soul is telling you, hey, do this, express yourself. How you want to express yourself. I keep looking at the protection card here. Whew, this energy, I love it. It's not only that you are protected in this lifetime, what you're doing, but by being present around other people, you give that sense of being protected does it make sense this is a very very strong pile i truly appreciate you guys clicking on this because you are a unique group of people let's take a look at how your finances would be once you are on your path once you have started doing them even though i think some of you have already and you're already on that track so let's see Financially, financially, pile number four. Let's let gravity do the work. See, it seems like you have options. First off, you need to, to decide where you're gonna where you're gonna go, which niche you wanna go into. Because I do think that for pile four, there is not only one way. There are three ways that you could go about this. Because you have multiple talents, you're a bit like those unique star seeds souls who came here with many talents from past life lives and you're like i don't know i like this and i'm good at this and i'm good at that uh spirit is saying you don't have to overly focus only on one niche you can try a couple of them if you'd like to there is no need to do to kind of put yourself in a box so once you make up your mind, your finances will become much better than it was before. You'll start things improving and it will be improving quite fast, I'm seeing here. You might find that in your head you are a little bit torn between a couple of things. See, if you didn't have so much, let's say, so many conversations in your head, it's like nothing is... Remember, pile number four, nothing is going to be exactly the way you plan it to be. It's just going to be better. So kind of let universe or God, whatever you, you believe in, take over. Because it seems like you keep battling in your own head sometimes. Yeah, what did I say? Seven of swords now coming full. Now, there is a very strong message for some of you out there. Make sure that you know whom you're collaborating with or whom you're working for so that everything is very transparent. Read the small font. Okay. No hidden agendas should be there when it comes to that, specifically when it comes to signing contracts or when it comes to dealings, business dealings of some sorts. So all cards should be on a table. bottom of a deck the winner card which we like seeing here don't we so it seems like when it comes to your finances you guys might have you know a couple of bumps on the road but it's completely normal uh you'll see your finances moving upwards and then there's going to be a time when you'll be damn but i didn't see that coming but it's going to be part of a learning experience here because i think some of you might trust people too easily so truly improve the legal side of yours okay so take interest what you're signing for take interest what kind of money you will be getting is it the same on the contract as promised you know all of those things that none of us like because there is something hidden there in the future that you might not notice and I think this is for a couple of you guys here and that might um, lead to some kind of conflict too so make sure that that's double checked something has to be double checked when it comes to finances maybe don't overspend you know if you're focusing on um, investments and stuff or if you're focusing on changing your jobs have maybe extra money because I do see a bit of a delay here when it comes to having 
as much money as you are imagining you would want to have. But at the end of the day, we have King of Wands and Six of Wands, which talks about feeling very good about where you are financially. Six of Wands is a winner card. King of Wands is someone who doesn't work in a job in the first place uh, that he doesn't enjoy working at. And he usually works in a job where he's being paid the exact same money for his achievements. So he's not underpaid this king, you see? And this king is a example for everyone else around. So I do think that you might have a couple of jealous people around your pile number four. I have to throw it out there, but um, I usually take jealousy as compliment. So I think you should do it too, because you financially will be better that sh than you imagine to be. Come on, six of wands, it's all about the winning card, right? Look how many people are watching you doing your thing. And it's all about saying, hey, look how far you have come. So let's pull a message for you, pile number four, from the Whispers of the Ocean deck. What does pile number four need to hear? Wow. Okay, mutually beneficial venture. So make sure it's mutually beneficial for some of you out there. There is an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life at this moment. Utilize this relationship to benefit everyone concerned. So it seems like you might even work with someone. You might find a person who is going to be influential in your ventures in the future. And it seems like you're gonna have the same values and same vision, which I really like seeing here because these two cards are kind of giving me a similar vibe. And I think this might be talking about two people already. Now, I do think that for some others of you, when it comes to those Seven of Swords and Five of Swords, you guys both might miss some kind of a, a small font over there. And it's not that the other person you are working with in the future is going to be the one that doesn't, is not transparent. This situation might not be transparent. So you both will have to keep your eyes on the prize and keep your eyes on very wide open when it comes to any kind of formalities and all the boring stuff okay but at the end of the day you not only are becoming successful at your ventures but i do think that you're gonna gain a very good partner as well so i truly hope that this made sense if you'd like to support this channel you can donate the link is down below or subscribe join the tribe i love you all catch you next time